Hello. I will talk about uh, my bananas growing like crazy inside my house. And it's really hot inside. It is uh, 30, above 30 degrees Celsius inside. Everywhere except for the second floor which I keep cool for the rabbits because uh, rabbits can't handle the heat so I just have to keep uh, it cold upstairs with the balcony door always open to let in cool air for the rabbits but downstairs everywhere it is 30 plus sometimes 33 degrees Celsius. In the beginning it was really tough to handle that heat but after a couple of weeks I, I got used to it so it is not as tough as it, as it used to be though so everyone can get used to different uh, tem temperatures and living conditions. Like uh, a month ago it was snowing, I sat there under a blanket at my computer, I have a stick in my boot, I have a stick, it is sharp and pressing against my, my sock, let me empty, stop dog, you don't want to pull me now when I on, on my foot. Look at my red socks. They are uh, rabbits. Rabbits breathing fire. So what happened is that because it was so hot, I thought I would open the window at night to let the hot air escape. And what this did was, I felt something strange in my throat. Like, it felt like I was going to get sick. My throat was uh, dry and felt weird. But it went away when I closed the windows because when I closed, the, when I opened the windows, I let out all that good oxygen and all that humidity, which was inside my house from growing so much bananas. So these bananas are making my house, uh, it is giving my house better air inside and the proper humidity to live in. So the living conditions are improved when you grow banana plants inside. And when I opened the windows to let all that good stuff outside, I just, I felt worse. And every time I go outside, I feel like the, that the air is not as good outside as it is inside. Even when I live on the countryside, far from the nearest city, still, still the air quality inside my house is better than outside. And it's just, it's just going to get worse and worse for every year outside. But inside my house, really fresh air. And vis when visitors came, they immediately Immediately they said, wow, what a good air quality it is inside your house. And uh, I also grow spider plants and ivy plants. And they are used by NASA to clean the air in their spaceships. Ivy plants are really great for that and that is what I grow but you can't you can't eat them so that's that's a shame 
but I have a special place for the ivy plants and I selected the coldest place in my house the stairway up to the second floor because in the winter it got minus three degrees below zero below the freezing temperature it got minus three in the winter and ivy plants can survive that no other plants can survive only ivy they are very durable and uh, yeah th yeah the problem is the ivy plants don't uh, handle the heat so good but now because the stairway uh, is the coldest part of my house they can handle it and I keep the balcony door open so currently it is 13 degrees in the stairway that's perfect for the ivy plants and elsewhere beside the stairway it is 30 degrees so it's three times hotter in the hallway beside the stairway where the banana plants are growing this is great and uh, I, f I feel I feel a lot healthier uh, since I got so much uh, plants in my house and I have expanded uh, my grow rooms into other rooms I have doubled I have doubled the amount of grow rooms now I place them into places I normally didn't place before and I I take a ladder and climb up into a different part of the house just to put some banana plants there with the grow light a timer and that kind of a mat with trays where you so the water comes from below to the plants so you don't need to go up there as often to water the plants if you have a tray with that, that suction force where the roots are pulling up the water from the mat i highly recommend you get that and i'm going to order now when i come home i'll order more of those mats because i only have a very few of them they are really expensive they are four dollars per uh, ten dollars per square meter is what they cost so really expensive mats and I'm going to cut them into the correct uh, shape to fit those trays. And I invested a year ago already to buy those trays, which I used to, for placing the pots on so the floor didn't get wet. But the, the purpose of those trays was to be used with those mats, which I couldn't afford a year ago. So I waited a, wee, a year until I could afford to buy those mats for those trays okay so I, I just planned ahead a year ago because I knew I'm going to buy these mats later when I can afford it other things have been a priority for me to, to buy like bigger pots for the banana plants and other things so I have manually I have manually watered each pot separately because I couldn't afford those mats but now I do so this is going to be great and currently I have about 100 banana plants so it's going to double it's going to double very quickly like over the summer because now in the summer the banana plants grow like crazy in the summer when it is hot when they when they get that 32 degrees celsius the optimal temperature when they get that temperature they, they just grow like crazy and during the winter they didn't grow almost nothing because they, they were it was in the biggest room it was around 10 degrees celsius and i just i moved them i had them before in a warmer room I didn't put them in the biggest room until it was at least 10 degrees Celsius because banana plants, they, they don't like uh, below 10 degrees Celsius. So my plan here for the future is next winter, I'm going to keep the temperature above 10 degrees Celsius 
in the room where I live in. And last winter it went below two degrees uh, beside my computer and my wife couldn't be there so she w went to another room to sit there instead. She said as long as it's above 10 degrees Celsius she is happy and after it wasn't. But now I have an excuse to keep it above 10 degrees because of the banana plants which I have. I'm growing in the biggest room. I'm going to grow six meters tall banana plants there and they have soon grown taller than my other smaller room. So I, ha I had to move them to the biggest hall which is uh, four and a half meters tall in that big big hall inside my house. And when they grow to six meters tall I'm planning on uh, putting them in, into the floor, putting them down, taking taking off some floorboards, putting them down deeper into the floor, and maybe cutting uh, out a piece of the attic ceiling to really stretch the banana plant to its maximum capacity. And uh, that is, I did the math and the. It's not worth it to pay electricity for growing banana plants if you're going to do it for eating because it is cheaper to buy them from the food store. But I do it also for the oxygen. The oxygen. I create my own oxygen. This is the reason I, I grow banana plants to get my own oxygen. Not the, the priority isn't anymore to make food, to grow bananas. It is the, the priority here is to create high quality air inside my house. Because the air quality just, just becomes worse and worse all around the earth because they cut down all the forests. So the, the trees are not producing uh, enough oxygen for everyone. So I have to make my own oxygen in my own house. And the electricity cost in where I live, I live up north in Sweden. The past week was actually for free. I, electricity was for free the past week because they had a lot of water reserves and a lot of wind. So people didn't need to pay anything for electricity. But you still have to pay that, uh, that taxes. You always need to pay taxes. Depending on how, depending on how much electricity you use, th that's the fixed price. You pay taxes. It is uh, five cents per kilowatt hour for taxes. No matter how much uh, the, the electricity price is, even if it's for free, you still have to pay that taxes. So it is not. I'm not really getting ab absolute free electricity. But it's a lot better when it was uh, half a dollar per kilowatt hour uh, in December when it was really expensive. I, even even when the temperature was went down to minus three degrees, I still had to pay one thousand dollars for electricity in December. Just a thousand dollars for the for the month of December. Super expensive. And I just hope next winter will be better and I don't have to pay that much money. I want to keep my banana plants alive, so I think it might cost $3,000 for electricity in December if I want to keep it above 10 degrees Celsius. But also, yeah, I have another plan. Okay, first plan, grow my own bananas. Second plan, uh, oxygen, create air inside my house. Third, I can sell a banana plants for like ten dollars per plant. If it's like, uh, if it's like this tall, maybe, maybe like forty centimeters tall banana plant, I can sell them maybe for ten dollars each. And other stores sell them for twenty twenty five dollars each. So I'm going to be able to sell them. Uh, I will sell them cheaper than 
everyone else are selling them so if if i start to get too many uh, banana plants in my in my house i can just start selling on in auctions every week for example so people can get those banana plants so that is not a problem if i get too many banana plants and also if the, if the electricity cost is going to get really high and i don't want them to die i can just sell them first in auctions before they die so at least i get a little money out of them and also the the positive thing with the, the small banana plants is that you can use the same light for multiple plants so you don't lose much money because of that when they are smaller so raising those banana plants when they are small is a lot cheaper than uh, continuing to grow a big banana plant which requires a lot of light so right now I made an experiment to see how much light a single banana plant needs so I have a banana plant the tallest is two meters two meters tall it requires two times 15 watts LED spotlights so 30 watts is what it needs to continue growing when it is big and it will continue until it produces fruit okay so if it takes four years four years to produce fruit it's like ten dollars per banana is what you would get if if, if each harvest is uh, 40 bananas that's about uh, what I got when I calculated so ten dollars or one dollar one dollar if, if you count the, the light 30 watts light but ten dollars if you count the heating as well but the heating is, is a bonus because uh, you still need to heat the house so if you only calculate the light the cost of the light is about one dollars for a one banana okay so that that is more expensive than than buying from the food store okay but hopefully i can start selling banana plants my goal is to break even so i don't lose any any money from growing the bananas and then i would be getting free bananas free oxygen that is my goal to break even and then yeah it takes a lot of space also in my house so space in the house is expensive it is you could use that space for other things so if i break even i would be trading my space for better air quality so that's just a trade i would make and the goal now the plan i have now is to grow many hundreds of banana plants to really maximize the space around my grow lights because i don't want to have a really huge grow light and just a single banana plant under it i want to have many around as many as possible so i'm using a lux meter on my mobile phone to measure the light and i try to keep the plants at at least 3000 lux so i go around my house and look at those spots light spots around where i could place a banana plant to try to maximize the amount uh, of banana plants per watt of light i'm using and especially since i'm heating up the room all that heat will go to waste if i don't have enough plants to use it so you don't want to spend a thousand dollars to heat up a room and only 
have a single plant in the room. You you want to maximize. You want to max it out. Put as many plants there as possible. And that is what I am doing. You need to go extreme if you want to make it possible to break even when growing banana plants. You want to take it to the limit. Don't just grow one single banana plant and waste money. Grow as many as can fit into your room. And the, the benefit of uh, growing huge banana plants is that you can walk under them. You can walk under the plants so you can fill up the entire room and you have those gaps under where you can walk, walk through. And they also give shade in the summer. If the sun is shining, you get shade. You don't get hot uh, down below under the plants. All the heat will uh, gather high up in the room. And uh, my plan here is because uh, here's my house. My plan is to remove the roof, replace it with the uh, uh, grow house tent that is that you see through. So the sun will go get inside. The sun will get inside for the banana plants which are sticking out from the roof there. So I will expand the roof a little bit, lift it higher with those uh, that grow grow house fabric. So uh, because my pl banana plants will become six meters tall, and th when that happens, is they are going to use a lot of sun. So I don't need those uh, grow lights if the banana plants are sticking up up from. Uh, the roof okay so that's another plan of mine that the, the bigger you make them you actually don't need to use so much uh, of uh, artificial light if, if the banana plants become tall enough to reach the sun okay so that is what i'm doing here if you also want to grow banana plants i recommend take one room heat uh, heat it up Put as many banana plants as you can fit inside that room. Don't place anything else in that room. Just put it full of banana plants and use the same grow light in the ceiling. And heat up the room. Keep, keep it closed and during the day. Keep the heat inside. Open the door at night to let the hot air out from the room. So the hot air will travel to the rest of your house. That way you don't need to heat up your your home if you just open up the door to the banana grow room and let the hot air out from that into the living room into the other rooms in your house okay and that has worked really good for me to grow those banana plants but now right now i just keep all the doors open in my house to let the air spread everywhere because now, we, when it is summer soon, it's going to be too hot otherwise, in some rooms. It went up to 38 degrees Celsius when I kept the door closed to that banana room. So I have to keep it open at all times now to keep it from getting too hot for the banana plants. And also important that you can put some uh, sweet potato plants uh, in the edges of the room because they don't need uh, so much uh, sun as the banana plants do. And in the natural environment, sweet potatoes grow below banana plants. They are a good companion plant. Okay, so I'm going to go now. I will see you next time. Rock your audio system. Goodbye.